Pecan Corner. I'm Tina and today I'm making a zucchini dish. <laughs> um, this is out of one of my mother-in-law's cookbooks, um, Nella Cucina by Marianne Esposito. And it's the recipe on page 172. Potato e zucchini al forno con aglio. Aglio. I'm not sure how you say that. Oven roasted potatoes with zucchini and garlic. And she actually says that she serves this at Thanksgiving along with roasted turkey. So you can serve it with any kind of meat you want to. Tonight, I'm going to change it up slightly and uh, put some uh, uh, German sausage in with it as it roasts so that I've only got one, one thing going. Um, these little potatoes, Paul's diabetes, he's got to have low carb because uh, the potatoes will send his you know send his sugar level up so I found these little uh, potatoes apparently the smaller the potato the better it is for the glycemic index the lower the glycemic index and these in particular about seven potatoes has 16 grams of carbs and 3 grams of fiber so that's 13 net carbs for seven potatoes so that's pretty good um, um, so I'm putting enough in here for him to have two days worth of servings of them. Um, so the first step is to, is to cut these in half. We're going to roast them before we put the zucchini in. I've cut up my zucchini and I've covered it with salt and I've got it sitting here with some water draining out of it. Um, this is zucchini that my dad grew. And uh, so it's that time of year. And we need ways to use it. <laughs> I have never found a good way to preserve a zucchini. Um, it, it, it just has too much water in it, so we, we tend to we use it fresh. Um, then I need... Uh, I'm, I'm increasing this recipe, so my, my uh, uh, portions are, are somewhat larger than what she calls for. She calls for three cloves of garlic. Um, with two medium zucchini, I'm using three. Um, I'm using a little fewer potatoes. Um, and then she wants some uh, fresh rosemary, which I'll have to go out and get. But uh, I'm going to use the garlic press to cut up the garlic because I want it to be really fine. And I'm going to lay it here on the tray when I do and kind of make a paste of it with the with the chopped zucchini I mean the chopped uh, rosemary all right Get these out of the way so y'all can see what I'm doing here there we go I don't have any uh, oil in the pan yet but I will have there we go get me a little knife to uh, clean that out with waste any garlic. I've got to do another quick video for y'all. Um, I had done a previous one there with my garlic went haywire this year that, that I grew and uh, so I had asked for help on that and so I have a follow-up with that so I'll try to get that done. That one uh, filmed tonight for y'all and get it up. Uh, there we go. I'm making enough of this to be able to serve us for a couple of days with it um, since I'm going to have to have the oven on in the heat might as well make use of it you know they knew what they were doing in the old days when they had a summer kitchen outside <laughs> back before air conditioning <laughs> I will be right back. I'm going to go out and get my um, rosemary, and then I'll be back. Okay, got my uh, rosemary here. Oh, it smells so fresh. It's hot outside, so it was heated by the sun, and it's uh, a little garlic there. Um, and so the oils are just really, really volatile right now. Get 
little leaves off without to leave the stems behind. I just got some tips of them here. There we go. Chop this real fine. in with the garlic. Okay. Brilliant. Let's uh, see what we have to do next here. Okay, now we're going to add our olive oil and uh, mix it all together and then uh, stir in the potatoes. And we're going to start it baking at 350 for 30 minutes. All right, let's get our olive oil out here. There we go. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. Move the camera just a little dab. There we go. Can you see that? Okay. Let's add some salt. I don't want to add too much salt. She adds all of her salt right there, but since I have salted the zucchini, of course I'm going to rinse them off, but they'll still have some residue salt there. There we go. We want this to be kind of like a paste, she says. Stir these all up together. And if you don't have these little bitty potatoes, you can use, use any kind of uh, your red skin potatoes in any kind of a waxy type potato. New potatoes would be great with it. I thought it was interesting that she does this for, uh, for Thanksgiving. Um, so that's kind of a it gives us an idea. I would have pulled out some of my canned turkey if I had read that far. I didn't make the mistake of not reading the intro to the recipe. <laughs> I just read the recipe and so I had already decided on the on the uh, sausage but I have I have canned turkey and this would have been nice. Maybe that's what we'll have tomorrow night with it Paul. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We'll see. All right, now then I'm going to put these in and these are going to cook for 30 minutes and then I'll be back. All right, we're back. Let's turn the oven back on again. The potatoes are nicely, nicely done and the garlic is nice and brown. I'm going to add some more olive oil now. Oh, shoot. Ah. I have the dropsy today. There we go. Now then. Okay, there we go. Now then. Make sure the whole thing's covered with the garlic. And the oil. Paul's been eating chaffle pizzas for his breakfast, so I thought, well, maybe I can make extra, and then if he wants it for supper, he can have it, or he can have it for for breakfast. If he's kind of off of eggs for a while. Okay, now then, my uh, zucchini, I've rinsed it all off and uh, let it drain. I probably dumped a cup of water, a cup and a half of water out of it from salting it. And so I had to rinse it really good to get the rest of the salt out of it. There we go. Get this all mixed up. Okay. 
And these could make this really pretty if you used uh, yellow zucchini in with the green too to add some color. I have some peppers I started to add, but she doesn't call for them, so I wanted to make it without those first. See how it turns out. Of course, I'm still adding the meat, but still. Um, there we go. What do you think, Paul? Should I add some of the peppers? I'm sorry, what? Peppers, those little sweet peppers. Should I add oh, some? Yeah. Okay, let me get some here. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back. Paul was just saying that because these are so sweet, they don't need to cook as long as most peppers do. My stepmother gave me all of these. My peppers haven't come in yet. They're sitting there. Some of the plants are blooming, but they haven't put on fruit yet. these in pretty good sized pieces too so they don't disappear as they cook up. Uh, knock the seeds out of them real quick. They don't have many seeds. There we go. Boy it's hot today. Uh, it's hot yesterday, hot today be hot tomorrow. <laughs> it's summertime. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now then, cut them into some strips. y'all are having a good summer. Things are kind of settling down a little bit, seems like, in some places. And uh, opening up enough that people can get, get out and go to the beach and do some things. There we go. Hear the birds singing outside. Boy, the birds, we've got a lot of birds around this year. We always have a lot of birds, but it seems like we had just uh, lots of them around this time. Maybe they came, uh, maybe they, the migrating ones came a little earlier than normal. Maybe that's what happened. Had, a, had some grackles here for a while, and it was so funny because there's a mockingbird that lives here. And uh, he uh, he was mimicking the grackles. It was pretty hilarious to hear the mockingbird trying to talk like grackles. He did a good job of it. Paul, tell him how to tell that it's a mockingbird. You're the one that taught me that. You can just tell by if it sounds like four different birds coming from the same exact place. It's probably a mockingbird. Yeah. It, it sounds so simple, but I, I grew up with mockingbirds and I never knew that until Paul ta taught me. And then I was like, well, duh. <laughs> and sure enough, that's exactly the truth. That's exactly how it is. All right, now let's put our sausage around on top of this. go. See, I was able to use up three nice big zucchinis to do this with. So, that's good. That's three zucchinis. It. Okay, now I'm going to drizzle a little more oil over the top to cover those peppers a little. Yeah, a little of the sausage. There we go. Alright. Alright. We will see y'all again in about another half hour or 45 minutes. Okay. They are done. Looky there. That looks delicious. Very nice. Now let's um I shown off my cute my cute uh, hot pads. There's a lady who has an antique store near us and she makes these out of old quilts, out of cutter quilts.
but she doesn't just use one layer she uses two layers of them so you get a real thick pot, hot pad that actually works well all right sorry I didn't mean to get sidetracked there scoop a lot of this up for Paul This looks beautiful. It came out really good. Paul, I think the peppers were a good a good addition because it just looks so pretty. All right, now, um, she says she just sprinkles it with a little pepper and uh, and serves it. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do too. I'm just going to sprinkle a little dab of pepper on there. There we go. All right, I hope that you guys uh, have a great evening and uh, enjoy your zucchini. Hope you're having a bountiful harvest. Thanks a bunch. Talk to you again soon.